We reacting to should sons be treated differently from daughters by Jubilee. By Jubilee. It's your boy Ra. It's your boy Zinthe. And we all the really style. Uh. Crossed over the game, I'ma shift it. Get your shot, better take it, don't miss it. This my life, I'ma live how I live it. This my life, I'ma live how I live it. Time is money, and I can't waste a minute. Keep the balance, yeah, stay on my pivot. Grim Reaper style, I came here to kill it. Niggas chatting, don't get no digits. Best in the town, you gotta admit it. MZ and PD, I can't see no limits. How come I see, come fuck with the realest. I flip it, I spend it, I get it right back. I flip it, I spend it, I get it right back. It's my time, I'm about to. Things first. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I like it, comment, subscribe, you're not subscribing. Make sure y'all follow all social medias. <laughs> Trying to get our followers up. Road to 1K subs, we almost there. Comment down below what other videos you want to see us react to. It's a fact. Let's hop right into this. Road to 1K, we almost there. My best friend is a boy. Oh, we had this brilliant idea. Let's get a place together. My dad's not cool with it. Human nature is like if they're living together, they're gonna hook up sexually. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> See, that's wacky. How, but why do I even have to tell you that? Yeah, I don't mind. My new apartment, I don't yeah. gotta tell you nothing. It's my I guess shit. they wanna come over, but that's the same thing. I don't like, give a fuck. It's my that's crib. Just, that's just like what Jade said. I said, yo, bro, me and you could live together, right? It would be cheaper. But she was like, what if my mom and dad want to come over? I'm like, okay. It's my crib. Yeah. Fuck you going to tell me what I can do in my own crib yeah. for? What? It don't, that shit matter. My name is Rihanna. I'm 20 years old. I'm Gabriella. I'm 20 years old. My name is Seat Lolly. I'm 14. And I'm really excited 14. to have this conversation with my dad today. I'm pretty excited to talk to my dad about certain things, deep conversations. Sure thing, thing. Uh, I feel a little bit nervous my relationship with my dad is good. We've been through a lot of stuff together. He raised me on his own with no mom. So that has definitely built us stronger together. My name is Benjamin, and I'm the father of one beautiful and infinitely talented and loving 14-year-old young lady. My name is Mike. I'm a father of three girls. Hi, my name is Brian. I'm a father of two. that it, it's the true meaning of our existence. That's the thing I wanted most in my entire life, is to be a father. And it's everything I've ever expected. I'm Gabriella, and this is my dad, Mike. I'm Mike, and this is my daughter, Gabriella. My name is Benjamin, and this is my beautiful daughter, Silami. Um, my name is Sweet Lolly, and my dad is Benjamin. Hi, I'm Rihanna. This is my dad, Brian. This is my daughter, Rihanna. Daughters, please go to the left. Fathers, please go to the right. Step forward if you agree with the statement. Daughters must be raised differently than sons. Differently, but equal at the same time. That's it's fluid. hard to explain. That's fluid. You being given the same opportunities. Yeah, but there's but certain but there's certain shit that like you're not like you get what I'm saying? Similar. That's what you mean. But what I mean like you get what I'm saying, if your son is like killing mad girls, whatever, like that's something you're cool with. Like you're praising for that. But if it's your daughter. Cause she could get pregnant, that's why. But he could get an S T D though. Okay. But that's something that's removed. That's a kid. Or it's not. True, but that's what I'm saying. So you can't say that. Right. But I understand what they're saying. Like, yeah. should they be raised differently? But, yes. But what it because is? Because there's certain shit that's like it's but, not fair. But but the question shouldn't be differently. It should be should they be raised similarly? You know what I mean? No, nah, but they should be raised differently though. Differently. In the similar sense. doesn't mean similar does not mean that it's the it, you know what I'm saying everything is the same. Yeah, it means that some parts of it is going to be different. Cause you can't raise somebody exact. You can't even raise two boys exactly yeah, the same because know. they're different. Yeah. So. Okay. But I'm saying like a boy, you could just be like you could lay down those rules. That's what I'm saying. A girl, you have to be on her yeah. a lot more because not on her. I feel like you she needs more attention. I feel like girls are more curious than boys though. So.
It's not so much because of them, but because of the society we live in. But I know if I had a 14-year-old boy and I wanted to send them out to the corner store, I would feel pretty confident in doing that. But for my daughter, it's a different situation. It's not our fault. Yeah. It's because of society, like I said. I agree. Where I, right, where I have to be more careful. She's very strong and capable of, you know, defending herself in a lot of ways, but at the end of the day... Um, She's not as big and strong yeah. as a dude. Yeah. yeah, and I'm going to worry about that. So because of that, I feel I have to be more protective of her. I agree. And defend her. I agree. That's exactly the same thing. That makes sense. So I don't have a son. I only have daughters. But if I had a son, I don't think I would raise him any differently. Uh, the type of scenario that you're talking about, I completely agree. But I think, is, I think this world is dangerous for both male and female. Mm -hmm. One time I was in the eighth grade, and I guess I didn't tell my dad I was going to City Walk with my friends, and I didn't come home till like midnight or 11 p.m., and the cops were like all over my block. Yeah. I dialed 911. I said, hey, my daughter's gone. I don't know where she's at. Yeah. She doesn't Bro, that's some white privilege shit, because she's not white, though. I'm she's like, she's white. She's half white. Yeah, you're right. Like, what? What is some I stayed out till 12. Of course you're not supposed to do that. So you stayed out till 1 o'clock. And how old were you? Exactly. Didn't she say 8th grade? She said 8th grade. Nah, hold up. I got to go back to that. But I think is I think this world is dangerous for both male and female. One time I was in the 8th grade and I get... What? You're 12 years old and you're a female. I stayed out till 12 o'clock. She like 13, 13, 14. Okay. I was 13 in fucking high school, so. That's you. Your birthday is, you remember? Bro, either way, she was in, she was 13 years old. Fuck is you saying out till 12 o'clock? Yeah, that's why he, you know, you're wild. Yeah. I guess I didn't tell my dad I was going to City Walk with my friends, and I didn't come home till like midnight or 11 p.m., and... The cops were like all over the place. Yeah. yeah. I dialed 911. I said, hey, my daughter's gone. I don't know where she's at. Yeah. She doesn't answer her phone. If it was my brother, because he's three years older than me, so at the time I was like 14, he'd be 17. My dad would be like, eh, whatever. You know, if he calls me, he calls me. But if you're legal at 17, you're not legal at 14, and you're a female. Come on, bro. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. There's girls I know that's 18. You cannot compare. You. Exactly. It's. That's dead. That's 18 still. year old girl that can't do that at all. At all. So, what do you, you're 14. Nah, bro, you're lazy. Yeah. And, but that's why I don't see that. Oh, but he doesn't care if my, like, bro, what? You're 14 years old. 14. If he was 14, my mom was not letting me stay out yeah, at that time. Fuck either. You bugging, nigga. Where's you going, nigga? Yeah. You better bring your ass home at like 8. Yeah. If it's me, it's like, oh my God, my daughter is missing. I think he can be a little overprotective when it comes to like having friends that are guys. I think he assumes a lot, and I think he should just assume the best, not the worst. Me too. Nah, like, nah, you can't do that. Can't leave. Leave. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't let I wouldn't let any boys in our apartment, Burbank, especially not in your bedroom. You know. That makes sense. My, my best friend is a boy. We're very, very, very close, and we're both in between housing situations right now for when we go back to college. We had this brilliant idea. Let's get a place together. We're best friends. We hang out 24-7. My dad's not cool with it. I'm just not going to challenge it because no reason to. Why aren't you cool with it, if you don't mind me asking? Because I think there's a place and a time for everything. And yeah. I don't think okay. that I'm ready for her to move in with a guy that I don't know. And you know, human nature is like, if they're living together, they're going to hook up sexually. All right. He's if, OK, he's a little off with it because you like you, she don't need to tell you get what i'm saying wait but that don't make sense though she's in college yeah bro. what the fuck she don't have to tell i'd have been me. like yo pops you walking it's not even that i gotta tell you yeah i i'm i got my own credit Good. now it now if he's paying for her college tuition then that's different yeah but she's saying her own crib. She's not even talking about him. Nah, did she say college? No, she's saying him and her is gonna get a crib together. If they're gonna she meant in college, though. Okay, cool, right? If he's paying for her college tuition, then I understand. If she's, if this is a crib by herself, then you can't have no say so. Yeah. And he's laced because that's not true. Not fucking everybody. I have, I have a friend. 
Ashley's my friend. And I, I never did nothing with Alvana. I never did nothing. So that's not really. I true. never really did nothing with Ashley. Yeah. Not at all. And she know my girl. Oh. Yeah. It just would never. It would never happen between. Like there's no ah. way, ever. Okay. Can I ask you this? Um, mm-hmm. Let's say it was, you're 20, right? 20 years old. Mm-hmm. Say you had a 20 year old son, and he was in a living situation where. You want to have a female roommate? I think the answer. I think the answer is obvious, okay? Because as you said, now he's ladies. Oh, the bald one. Yes, he just said that you're gonna raise them the same way. Wait, but he's saying the answer is obvious. He might say no. No, he go didn't. Say, he didn't say nothing. Go ahead. I'm gonna go back to agreeing with you that you have to treat it a little differently. But I think if I See, had a son who was 20 and would want to live with a girl, I wouldn't have any objection. But would you find it oh, weird? Oh, she's lazy, bro. He was 20 and he wanted to live with a girl and there was nothing romantic there at all. No, I wouldn't find it weird. I know how guys what? Are when they're young, they got a lot of testosterone. And girls are at like. Get the fuck out. It's dangerous for chicks. I mean, they gotta really watch their step. But what if we're just sitting down and we look good? Is that still teasing someone? <laughs> you can, it can be. Depends on what you're doing. But I feel like girls don't even try doing it intentional. Sometimes people are just good at looking. If you raise them equally, then they'll learn and grow up to see each other as equals instead of like having like misogyny and stuff like that. Yeah, I com- completely agree with that. Me too. Completely. Blaming the girls kind of puts the onus on the girls to stop that gross behavior when the onus is on the boys and the people who are raising them and the media that they're watching. Which I don't understand though what is you that, said yeah, boys. What I don't understand though is that you're not gonna be treated the same when you use your body. That's not misogynistic. Men do not use their body to get somewhere. And if they do then fuck them. I have to use the way that I speak. You get what I'm saying? I have to do shit like that. Nine times out of ten, I meant, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, whatever. Like, let's say Alex Rodriguez, bro. They're not going to be like, yeah, you look good, bro. You got everything. That shit doesn't work like that. So, I don't know. You can't be treated the same if the way that you're acting. You have to, if it's, if you're acting equally, then you're going to be treated the same. But if you're not doing that, then. It's a, even, it's, a, it's a disadvantage on certain areas. That's what I'm saying. Certain shit we have an advantage on and certain shit y'all have an advantage on. And that's just how the world works. What would you say is the biggest challenge for you two? Probably something like communication and just understanding how I feel and sometimes that I don't agree with things that he thinks. Recently, I decided I wanted to live with my mom because uh, I just get a lot of intense anxiety around him, and it might be a little awkward. <laughs> I struggle to communicate my feelings Ooh, with my family. All of them. Yeah, all of them. A worry? Only her? I mean, she's 14, though. Yeah. A lot of the times, I just don't know how my dad will react to some of my feelings, and I just don't want... I don't like for him to see me upset. Because I know it upsets him a lot. I do remember very vividly one time him telling me that whatever my energy is, he's gonna put the same energy back. I remember he told me that one time and it kind of just stuck with me and I always think about it. So I'm always thinking, how do, what do I say? How do I put myself like when I'm angry and stuff? Hmm. I wonder what you're gonna say. Yeah, if, he's ang- if you're angry like and then he angry back to you, that's dumb. Understanding. And I try to let her know that I'm not going to judge her. I'm not here to judge her. I'm here to help her. I definitely feel that she doesn't feel comfortable expressing herself to me fully. And it's so strange, you know, because we grew up so close. We grew up so close. We were together all the time. I feel like when she became a teenager, it was like all that changed, everything. It was like an alternate universe. Like, what is this? What is going on? You just have to give her some space. Definitely. I don't know. I guess. it scared me a lot to disappoint him. That makes sense, but just know that you're never gonna disappoint me. Like, nothing you do will ever disappoint me. That's not I true. love you infinitely for who you are. Fact, I mean. And I accept you fully nah. for him. I love you unconditionally, okay? And crying? Sorry. It's okay. She's right? 14. It's okay. Yeah. It's Isn't totally okay. Speech? You don't disappoint me, you never will. 
I didn't really have my mom to run to when I started my period. Like all the girl things, Ooh. literally. Like yeah, I see my mom here and there, but my dad took custody of me at such a young age, so that made us like have a really strong relationship. He's also like my best friend. I tell him everything. I tell him who I'm dating, this and that. And the cool thing is about him is like dads are could be like, don't do this, don't do that. But if anything, he just gives me really good advice. That's really sweet. She hides about 20% of stuff from me, and yeah. I hide about 20% from her. She doesn't tell me everything, because I don't want to know too much, you know? Yeah. So I, I went through a lot of mental health stuff and physical health stuff in the last two years. When I was 18, I wasn't ready to say anything to anybody. I, I'm a very private person, and my dad is too, so he understands, and he never, he never pried, and he never asked too many questions, and I like to keep everything that was going on to myself, because otherwise it felt like I was including more people into my problem. And the second time was kind of when it hit me, like, I can't do this alone. And I need my biggest support system to be there for me. And it's always going to be my parents, especially my dad. We went through this together. I mean, she had to go through this. We, I was there just to support her, and so, so was her mom. But it definitely made our relationship so much stronger. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Nobody wants to be vulnerable in front of their family, but you know, if you're vulnerable, if you get sick, your kids are there to take care of you. And when I broke my health, broke down. I'm on kidney dialysis. She takes me to dialysis three times a week. She feeds me. I just go, Rian, I'm hungry. You know? I feel like my dad takes care of me by paying my rent, paying my car insurance, getting me anything I need. So the least I could do for him when his health isn't good is take care of him. So my grandpa died five years ago. My dad went to go be in Israel, say goodbye to his dad, spend time with his family. But my dad was there for a month, and we didn't see him for that month. And I realized a couple years later that he went so he wouldn't have to grieve in front of us. It just made me sad that he felt like he couldn't do that. And now I understand why. I know that I'm the backbone of the family, and I like, and, and I'm the only man of the house, so I wouldn't want to see myself breaking down in front of any one of my family. I don't think there was a situation that I needed to, but I, I wouldn't think that I'd be comfortable opening up that much. I feel similar. I feel like I have to be strong just because I can't show her what I'm going through because then I'm kind of putting her through it, similar to what you said. You know, just recently she made a big decision. She decided that she wanted to stay with her mom full time. Since she was two years old, we've always shared custody 50-50 down the middle. So I went from seeing her half of the time to here and there, and it hurt me. It hurt me a lot. It hurt me down to my core. but. At the end of the day, that was her decision, and she thought it was best for her mental health. So I agreed with it. But I can't sit here and say that night I didn't go home and cry, you know? But obviously, that's not something I want her to see because I want her to be happy regardless of anything. Bro, I feel like that shows that you're more strong. The fact that you do cry. Not a lot, though. Not like every fucking time something happens, you cry. But like, if they see that you can cry, they would then cry in front of you, you know what I mean? Like, they would be like, okay, he's opening up. Like, let them see that at least twice. Yeah. Three times. You feel me? Not every fucking minute something happened. Like, yo, a fucking the, a baby is... <laughs> another bit. <laughs> then you got fucking... She hurt her knee. <laughs> yeah. Like, relax, bro. You gotta be like... Well, once in a while, yeah. Yeah, she needs to see that. Because she's not gonna never know what that looks like. Raising a 14-year-old young lady... Being a man myself, there's a bit of a disconnect. And in this world of social media and instant gratifications and mm -hmm. all these things that we have to deal with, it's the biggest challenge I've ever had. I have had moments I felt like I failed my family. Damn, what the fuck she doing? My hospitalizations uh -huh. have put some financial strain on my family and no, emotional toll on my family, my parents and my sisters. And the first time it was like, yeah, this is horrible, but we have to get through it. And the second time, I just kept saying to myself, I can't believe I let this happen again. I can't believe I'm back here. And I can't believe I'm doing this to my family all over again. I'm really insecure about things that I do and just myself in general. So I constantly feel like I'm such a disappointment to especially my dad. Well, the question was, 
if you feel you failed or disappointed your family, I, I don't, I mean, why, why do you? I don't why think do I hope? disappointed you. I just feel if I had been a little bit more diligent, I wouldn't have found myself in the position that I was in in August. Yeah, but you also have to remember that you were fighting and it was a little stronger than, than you and eventually took over and we needed to fight back and we fought back and we won it, but you definitely did not disappoint us or failed us in any way. That's absolutely not the case. Hi, Angel. I tried to get her, you know, through my lawyer, and the judge just blew me away. And I told, last thing I told the judge was, you know, the police told me a long time ago, if they keep coming out, somebody's gonna go to jail. And they, they had been out between her and her mother having fist fights, and she was just a kid. I really just needed to get out of that situation. It was just bad for me health-wise to be with my mom. I mean, I love her. She's my mom. We're okay now because we're away. Because you're apart. Because we're apart. But living with her is a different story. When you live with someone, it's different. My dad, at the time, it was such a coincidence because I was like, I just need to get out of here. She hit me in my face at that moment. I had a bloody nose. And my dad, specifically that time, got off work like three hours early. And he opened the door and he saw me and... She went to jail, and ever since he's had custody of me. Wow. You know, I think I probably should have sat down and uh, failed your family, because in some ways I do feel that I did fail you. And, and the way that I failed you was setting those expectations on you. You know, when she was born, I, I wanted her to be so perfect. I put her in gymnastics. I taught her multiple languages. And she was in a very specific school that she went to, and I feel like me having those thoughts and those ideas of what a perfect daughter would be. Put too much pressure. Definitely. And at the end of the day, that's my fault. So I understand why she feels the way you do, but I, I am sorry. I apologize to you for ever putting those expectations on you. You're great just the way you are. And I'm just happy that we're here, we're having this moment. You know, I, I told my dad that we were doing this video. He had no idea what was going on, and I'm just grateful that he trusted me enough to just come, no questions asked. If it wasn't for you, I would not be the strong person I am, the outspoken person I am, or the opinionated person I am. I wouldn't have zero tolerance for bullshit, and it's all because of you that I'm able to live my life in the strongest way I possibly can. I'm gonna repeat something you said because I found it beautiful and I completely agree with you, but there's nothing in this world that you could ever do that would disappoint me. What I feel towards you and your sisters is just endless love and nothing can ever change that. I just wanna say that I'm thankful that I have a dad that loves me unconditionally and obviously saved me from an abusive relationship with my mother because if I didn't have a dad, and I was living with my mother, I don't know where I would be right now. So I'm happy and thankful I have him. She's a lovely kid and she's actually my caregiver, you know. Right now she's not working and she runs all my errands. She takes me everywhere I want to go and does everything for me. So I'm very proud to have her as a daughter. <sighs> um, I guess, I feel like you kind of made me strong. So thank you a lot for that. And I love you a lot too. Mm. I feel like that's a little flaw. I don't think she's strong. She's a little emotionally weak. Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't be like into She was just saying that just to say that? Like, bro, you can't, you cannot feel like you're strong and then you're insecure about everything that you fucking do. You would be like, fuck that shit. I don't give a fuck about that. I mean, that. at the end of the day, though, I mean, she is a 14 year old she's girl. She's 14 and they're a little bit. Like, once you get older, it's going to change. Like, mm. I'm not saying it's going to change. I'm saying it could change. Could. So I feel like, I don't know. I feel like her situation could possibly change. But anyway, that was Jubilee. Just sons be raised differently than daughters, fathers versus daughters. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe with that notification bell. So she's gonna be up top. Roll the one K so comment down below. Tell us more videos that y'all wanna watch. Shit boy raw. Shit boy been there. We ain't the same, I am not regular, fly like a plane Look how I dress it up, dripping like rain Keep how I wet them up, went through the pain In 
and I ain't letting up If you a lame, you better step it up You cannot hang, don't hit my cellular Saying my name, don't get ahead of your Oh no, don't get ahead of yourself